Hi everybody, it's Advent season and Christmas is just around the corner. And one of my favorite Christmas texts is from the Gospel of John, the very first chapter. Unlike Matthew and Luke, John takes the Christmas story and he goes back to the beginning and before the beginning. He writes, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Then John goes on to say that the Word, that eternal Word, became flesh and lived among us. And that's the wonder of Christmas. When you think about it, the eternal Son of God humbling himself to take on human flesh, to show us who God is so that we could hear God speak, so that we could understand God's love, so that we could find salvation in Jesus Christ through his life and through his wonderful work. People sometimes ask me, what's different about Colorado Christian University? And I say, well, we stand within the great Christian intellectual tradition. We believe that a full, true education consists of three elements, competence in your field, character, and faith. And not just any faith, but a Christ-centered faith. And that's what's fascinating about this passage as you connect it to Christmas and to education, because John goes on to say, in him, in Jesus, was life, and the life was the light of men. He goes on and he says in verse nine, he is the true light which enlightens everyone. He was coming into the world. Jesus is that light. As a school, we still believe that. Recently, I read the history of Harvard University and read that in 1640, the college laws had this to say, let every student consider well the main end of life and studies is to know God and Jesus Christ, which is eternal life, and therefore to lay Christ at the bottom as the only foundation of all sound knowledge and learning. Well, we still believe that here at CCU, and that's why Christmas matters intensely to us. John goes on at the end of this passage and he says, in Christ uh, we saw his glory and it was full of grace and truth, and from him we've received one blessing after another. And as we look back on this academic year, we're so thankful for all the blessings that God has brought to us. I think back to my own inauguration in February. I think back to the fact that we have our eighth year of record enrollments. I think about the opening of the new, beautiful Anschutz Student Center. And uh, think about you, because you've been a blessing to us. We couldn't do what we do without you. Your prayers, your encouragement, and your financial support has enabled us to go forward with strength at a critical time in our nation's history. Thank you so much for all that you do for CCU as we train up a new generation of student leaders who will serve Christ in all kinds of vocations, who will build the church, and who will engage the culture. And so from all of us here at CCU, to you and to your family, we wish you a blessed, joyful Christmas.